So this is the third way of solving the um, word problem that we have here. If you've missed the first two, we did it manually, uh, just working through solving it more or less by hand, um, doing with the simultaneous equations. Next, we use the goal seek in order to put the functions in here to um, um, use that. And last, we're going to do um, solver. Now, goal seek is really the better way to do this, in my opinion, um, but we'll go ahead and do the solver just to, to show that it could be done in there. So I'm going to go ahead and copy my equation here, and let's paste. Okay. And we see the problem is divide $80 among three people, so the second will have twice as much as the first, and the third will have $5 less than the second. So we're dividing the $80, um, and we're looking for the value in A. For B, we know that the second, that's person B, uh, will have twice as much as the first, which is person um, A. So um, twice as much as the first and then here we look at um, five less than the second so just reading straight from the problem here um, and then there's the amount that we're going to be dividing so based off of that we'll go into solver if you don't already have solver um, installed you'll need to go into your file options area to enable solver uh, but for now we're going to go ahead and our objective on this is that we want our sum of these three numbers here. Okay, um, we're going to want that to be equal to a value of 80. And we are going to change the variable there in A, uh, or the value that we have in A there. And let's just do a simplex linear to get that correct. And go ahead and solve and we will see that it does quickly converge on 17 as the answer there. Um, double checking our work, so we have the 80 is the value there. Um, we have that the second will be twice as much as the first, 34 is twice as much as 17, and the third has five dollars less than the second, so we see that indeed we did get all of that right um, using solver.